Um, hello, my name is Mitch. Um, I work uh, at the Maze Patrol Department uh, here at Mazak. Um, today we're showing the uh, solid maze control feature on the Smooth AI. Um, that's a feature where you can import a, a solid model, uh, maybe from SolidWorks or another CAM vendor, um, into the Smooth AI control, and it will automatically generate a maze control program for you. <clears throat> so I've already uh, selected my model here. We've got a few different samples. Uh, we can try with maybe this model here. Uh, the first thing we'll do is, is we'll give it a name, so I'm just going to name it with Mitch for my name. Um, so we've selected our model. We can go on to the next step. This is where you're selecting your, your workpiece. Um, so here we can see that the diameter is about 4 inches. The length is 4.7. So we can go with a 5 by 5 uh, workpiece here. Um, the next step is the uh, layout, which, which is how it will actually sit in the machine. Um, the automatic layout kind of works pretty well for us, so we'll use that. Um, this step is uh, setting the processes for maybe uh, head one and head two. So you, you can set this up uh, based on the outer um, diameter and the inner diameter. So maybe something like that will look okay for us. So we'll press OK. And we can press Finish. And here you can see the processes that it's generated. And you can hit OK, and then save your program. And then you can see that it has automatically generated a, a maze control program based on just the solid model itself. So this can save a lot of time for um, maybe newer programmers or older programmers alike. Um, and it's just a really cool feature that is new to the Smooth AI. If you have simple or complex parts uh, working with the conversational programming can make your uh, programming life a lot easier. It, it can save a lot of time. Um, and even if you were to buy a new machine, uh, we offer in-house training where you can learn Mazak's conversational programming. When I was learning it, um, this is, I've, I've been here for about two years now, so when I was uh, new learning this uh, programming, it was definitely the way that as you were kind of going along with the program, it kind of drew the model along with your um, with what you were programming, so it was really easy to follow along and kind of see actually what you're doing um, as you're as you're going along with the program. I think there can be a lot of uses that you would want to use uh, Maze Control programming for. I mean, if you have uh, maybe a, a smaller parts or you um, have newer programmers, this could be something uh, easy for them to learn and something that, that they can pick up quickly. Um, whereas maybe with EIA, there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more of a, of a learning curve, I think, with the EIA programming, where Maze Control is really about picking it up a lot quicker. Um, I think the best way to, to start using Maze Control is to maybe um, look with the manual and just get to know it, you know, just uh, to start poking around with some of the different features and uh, some of the different units and processes. And by then, you'll probably be able to um, you know, put these pieces together and make your own program soon enough. Well, the Smooth Easy control is out, is the newest control by Mazak. Um, it's, it's kind of to replace the Smooth C control. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. Um, but it um, features a larger screen and a touch screen, which the previous control didn't have. Um, I think it's really easy and uh, nice to use. Um, I think that the layout is pretty sleek and it's really easy to um, you see that you have all your main screens that you would want to uh, navigate to here. Um, the uh, program page, which does support maze control programming, so this might look familiar. But since this uh, control is a little bit more powerful, we can take advantage of things like the uh, quick maze control display, which uh, builds that, that, that model as you're programming here. And there's a bunch of just kind of like quality of life features that were updated for this control, such as... Um, you can increase the size of your text here or uh, bring it back down if you need to. We, we have the full touchscreen keyboard uh, that, is, that has many different functions, such as a calculator. You also have your machine menus here, too. Um, and it's very customizable where you can uh, decide how you want to lay out your machine. That way it's easier for you to use it. So those are just a, some of the few features that I really like about the new EC control.